Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Puppeteer Full Tutorial Series for Absolute Beginners. In the last episode, I talked about the best practices when implementing Puppeteer projects. A lot of you have written to me asking me to cover differences between Selenium, Cypress, Playwright against Puppeteer. So in the next three episodes, I'll be covering those differences between Selenium, Cypress and Playwright. Today, in this episode, we will talk about Selenium versus Puppeteer. Let's get started. This is part 26 of the series. If you have missed out on the first 25 parts, I have covered a lot of details, including a lot of live coding, hands-on exercises. So make sure that you go through them in order to fully learn Puppeteer and master it. Today, we will talk about the difference between Selenium versus Puppeteer. The way I will cover is, first I'll talk about Selenium, I'll talk about its pro and then cons, and then I'll talk about the Puppeteer pros and cons. That way you can have a clear comparison of both the frameworks. Let's talk about the pros of Selenium. Selenium has a wide range of support for browsers including Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Edge and others, which enables us to do a lot of cross-browser testing. Selenium has an excellent official support for various programming languages including Java, Python, C Sharp and much more. Selenium also has a large user community, rich documentation, tutorials and wider you know you can it's easy to find answers if you get stuck at some place selenium has been around for a very very long time which means it has grown over time making it solid stable and reliant choice for web testing selenium interfaces nicely with commonly used testing frameworks like junit testng nunit and much much more so these are some of the top reasons why anybody would choose selenium and if you consider enterprise applications, they want to go with the solid and stable uh, frameworks rather than the new ones because a lot of developers are not familiar with it. Now let's talk about some of the cons of Selenium. The setup of Selenium is little complex compared to any newer frameworks like Cypress or Puppeteer. The setting up Selenium involves might be tricky because it requires maintaining certain device drivers etc which are suitable for running the test executions. Compared to Puppeteer, Selenium is slower because Selenium uses web driver okay, which is an added layer of communication between the test script and the browser results in slower execution timings. Also we will see synchronization issues between browser behavior. Due to the asynchronous browser behavior, Selenium tests may encounter synchronization issues. One of the drawbacks of Selenium is handling the pop-ups. Right? Now, there are different types of pop-ups in Windows. There are some custom JavaScript-based model pop-ups that we work with. Now, all of that requires different handling. Selenium I have found, in fact, it's a proven that it is little difficult uh, when you work with pop-ups. Inconsistent browser support. Now, a lot of things, like I said, are evolving with custom widgets on JavaScript and higher frameworks because of which the browser uh, rendering, etc. Those things we have seen issues with Selenium. Now let's talk about the Puppeteer pros, right? Advantages. One of the most you know, striking features that I can tell you is that it's pretty simple. It has an intuitive API. It's quick to get started and anybody can start using it without any much effort. Now, Puppeteer is a Google product, which means it directly runs in your Google Chrome, providing strong support for newer web technologies and frameworks. Puppeteer operates at a lower level, which means there is no additional communication layer between the test script and the browser and hence it's much faster than selenium puppeteer comes in two modes headless mode and with you can see the execution in the ui so headless mode is also making it idle for ci cd pipelines especially when you have bitbucket github 
or any other uh, source code repository pipelines, you can easily run Puppeteer using the headless mode. Puppeteer includes a lot of built-in capabilities which are in inbuilt rather than getting outside plugins like generating of PDFs, report, etc. What are the cons? Now Puppeteer is limited to Chrome browser. Again, we can customize the browser of our choice, but by default it's Chrome browser. If you're running on cross browser kind of a thing, it makes it a little difficult. While Puppeteer is generally straightforward, the documentation, the tutorials for high complex scenarios are limited. Right now, the support is only for Node.js, which means you can't really extend it to other uh, strong uh, frameworks like C Sharp, etc. Now, Puppeteer involves installing and managing additional extra dependencies through Node modules. Now, if you are a bank, if you are an insurance company, if you are an investment uh, portal, etc., chances are that you don't allow other external modules to be installed. Now that's where things get messy and tricky with Puppeteer. Because if you can't really install other node modules, things will not get set up properly and adds to security complexity, etc. So those are the cons compared to Selenium. But both have their own advantages. It all depends upon project to project. But if you have an option to choose a framework, I would always encourage to go with Puppeteer. The reason being that it's much more powerful in automation. You can do a lot of stuff with Puppeteer. Again, you need to evaluate the security, the compliance, the legal aspects of your project, of your client. That being said, that was my a description of difference between Selenium versus Puppeteer. In the next episode, I'll cover Cypress versus Puppeteer and then we'll talk about Playwright versus Puppeteer. These are all different uh, modern test automation tools which are extremely in demand. So you should know the difference between different frameworks. If you like this video, please hit that like button for me. Please do subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know what are your thoughts about Selenium? What are your thoughts about Puppeteer? Thank you again for joining. See you in the next episode.